Hello everybody, welcome back to the Northern Dundon campaign. My name is Sav. Now in the last episode we had the Battle of Minas Morgul and successfully managed to take it from the forces of Mordor. It was a pretty good battle actually, I quite enjoyed that one. Uh, the AI for Mordor seemed to be making mistake after mistake, but uh, eventually it led to us capturing the fortress. Um, so Arafor is currently garrisoning it for the moment. He's watching Gandalf's back while Gandalf moves yes, against Kirith Ungol. So that'll be the battle that we fight today. Uh, it's a garrison of trolls with the general as well, and it will get an orc garrison as well, no doubt. And there's a, a single band of orc band outside as well that come in for reinforcements. We moved our spy up into Mordor's lands itself, into western Gorgoroth. And um, Estolad, I'm not even going to pronounce the first word because I'll probably say it wrong. So Estolad has got a bit of a garrison there, small garrison there. Uh, special features, orc garrison as well. So they will get a few troops there, but we're going to try and just press on to Mount Doom itself in this episode, and we'll see what that brings. We're also waiting for Aragorn to get to Dunharrow, so we'll see if that uh, completes his quest there. Now, where to send the spy? I'm going to send him this way. We are looking at potentially going off against the uh, Shadow of Mirkwood here. Now that we've cleared Arafor Pass from invasion forces, we've got a bit of a bit of a move here that we can use Adradir's army and ha well Halbrad's army, sorry, to move across into the Shadow of Mirkwood's territory, and hopefully we can um, claim some land from them. Okay, nothing really else to do, so we're just going to get on to the yes. Battle of Kirith Ungol. <coughs> One single unit of Uruk defenders. Now this could be a little bit painful, obviously particularly against those trolls. Uh, I'm imagining this is going to be a bit of an enclosed space. Black Numenorians. okay. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! Last time we faced against the Black Numenorians was at um, one of the forts outside Arafor Pass that uh, you guys didn't see. The enemy general and three of his bodyguards survived the battle, unfortunately, including running through a load of wooden stakes. That was very disappointing. And then battling some pikemen. The pikemen didn't die off from the enemy general. They got killed off by the enemy orc infantry. But the general did take, um, or did have a bit of a part to play in their demise, so... Kind of disappointed that he didn't die from that either. This is quite a pathway. This kind of reminds me of Henneth Anun, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Look at this. Look at that. Single path up there. That's going to be... This is... If you had a full stack army in here, this is the... I don't think you could get much more perfect... more uh, Much more of a perfect defense than this. Single tracks leading up to the... Uh, Leading up to the place. I was going to say, where's the tower? But there it is. So, single track leading up to the town centre. You could you could block all that off with all of your troops. You could have your archers on the walls, I think. Looks like there's doorways up there. So, you could put your archers on the walls there. Some of these custom maps, you can't put archers on walls, by the way. So, that's what I'm checking. You could put artillery on the back here. Just launching stuff into the enemy army below. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll see if uh, the enemy sticks their forces in the town centre as well. That would be interesting if they do. I'm not sure why I'm bothering to put stakes on the ground, but why not? I mean, look at that. They're so close together. It's an... It's a perfect line of stakes. I've rarely ever seen such a thing. Oh, wow. I've rarely ever seen that. <laughs> Normally, whenever you play field battles or anything, the stakes are quite well spread out. Okay, so my army is is set up. 
So enemy reinforcements are coming from the other side. Really, trolls? Okay. I'm going to launch some flaming shot against these trolls. We're going to see if we can uh, hit some stuff against them. We've got plenty of am ammunition for the gateway, so we'll try that afterwards. My archers are doing whatever they can there. Oh, we got one. <laughs> we got one. Okay, let's aim for the uh, let's aim for the gateway. They're running off the walls now. <laughs> we got we got one of the trolls. It's not taken off the percentage though. Apparently they've they've still lost zero percent of their army. It's kind of annoying. Don't have that many troops. All right, archers, you can hold fire now. Perfect. Right. Catapults, you might as well empty your ammunition into the enemy general over there. I'm going to march my troops forward. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to waste my troops' energy. Trolls are coming up to the town centre, so if we aim for the enemy general here, we might get some lucky hits against those trolls when they get back here. Although we're not having much luck against the enemy general right now. Oh, okay, never mind. I stand corrected. <laughs> Oh, we just missed the trolls. Wait, are they running across there now? Where are they going? They are. So we'll fire at will with our archers again. Oh, we got a troll. In fact, we got two. Oh, there goes another two. I think that should be alright. Let's aim for the enemy general again. I think we just shot one. I think one of those uh, trolls got killed by our arrow. There goes another one. To five, four. Perfect. Oh, good hit with the catapult there. And another one! Oh, we are having so much fun with this. These trolls aren't going down yet. What's that at the back? Oh, it's just the bannermen for the Uruks unit there. Oh, we've gone down to three. Three trolls. Oh, we hit him with the catapult shot. The reason why I'm aiming for the general with the catapult, I'm hoping to maybe get a lucky hit. Kill the enemy general so we don't have to face him on the field instead. Oh, damaging the wall a bit there. We almost got him though. Very close. Last troll.
Oh, nearly got him with the flame shot. There we go. All the arrows we had to lose into them to kill the trolls. But we don't have to face them now, so that's good. Got a spearman in there. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. The hills will be ours. Let's get in there. Hurry up, because those Uruk defenders are coming down. Alright, form shield wall. Orc band has finally arrived. Enemy general is down to 17 units. Or 17 men in his unit, sorry. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Try and push through there. Right, I'll aim for the enemy general. I'm actually going to get a couple of units to aim for the orc band instead. Look at that. Look at that. It's just a blanket of arrows flying over. One of the bodyguard men. Here's another one. All right, the enemy are at 119, and they're not going down very quickly. Got them pinned up against the wall and stuff, but. the arrows. To about, how many did we take out there? About 20-ish? We're on 171 now. Oh, I took out 11 there. Root defense is down to 25, so we've slaughtered them now that they got pinned up against the wall. <clears throat> Not really anything I can do with this battle at the moment. I, all I have to do is wait. Our men are pushing up the ramp. I can't really get a good camera angle here, unfortunately, because of the custom map. But 
But the Orc Band have just lost like another 20-ish. Since arriving down this ramp to face off against my troops. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Now I can get a good camera angle. I know it's already said they've lost half their men, but that's because of the reinforcement. So the reinforcing Orc Band unit has now lost half its number. So that's why it says it. It says it twice, because there's two armies for the enemy in this battle. Obviously the garrison and the Orc Band. Just in case any of you are wondering why I said it twice. We're at 73% enemy forces down. Oh, there goes the captain of the Orc Band. That's one. Now we just need to get that Black Numenorian. Uh, not Black Numenorian, really, but, you know, the this Ringwraith person. The Nazgul. Slay him to finish off the battle. It was so nice of them to let us shoot their trolls without any problems. This battle would have gone a lot differently, I think, if we hadn't uh, taken care of the trolls. Well, no. Actually, that's probably not true. I think this battle wouldn't have gone any differently. We would have still have won, but our casualty rate would be a lot higher than 4% that it is now. And also the catapults getting those... A few good, really, really good... Uh, a few really good shots here against the Black Numenorian unit. Did pretty well there. Look at these Uruk, Uruk defenders all slaughtered. So the Orc band's broken. They're heading back to the town centre. Got the Black Numenorian down to eight. Come on, get into range my captains. There we go. Gone from 69 to 59, so we killed 10 in one volley. Fifty-nine to forty-three. Uh, that orc unit's not going to last much longer up there. Black Numenorians are still on seven. Make that five. There's four. Where's the fifth one? The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Oh, he's inside the wall. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, there's. it says there's four, but I can only see three. The general's missing. Alright, we'll leave the spearmen to fight off against the cavalry. The infantry swordsmen can head up and take care of the orcs. Also get to the town centre as well. Okay. Let's form up inside the town centre. So far, Spearman can't, for some reason, get, kill the enemy general. Oh, there he is. I was going to say, I thought he was in the wall, but apparently he's not. I saw, like, a couple of dwarves, like, sh trying to hit something in there. So the general is the last one alive. So I might as well just fast forward this, because either he dies, or... The three minutes runs out, so. 
Either way, the castle is ours. And this is going to be such an easy place to defend. Or at least it appears like it's going to be such an easy place to defend. Shield wall, block up all this. Archers up top and on the walls, just raining down. Easy. So if any full stacks come and attack this place now, in the turn flip, we'll be ready. Or, well, as ready as we'll ever be, really. A minute to go. Will the general survive? There we'll end it. 54 for, what's that, 460. That says 462. That's 460. Who's the two that survived? I'm guessing maybe one of the bodyguard. The general, obviously, but who was the other one? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Lovely stuff. We have triumphed. My Lord, Another 30,000. Yes, please. Let's repair the fortress as well. Apparently we can retrain three units. There's probably some kind of armor upgrade or experience upgrade. And what buildings can we destroy? So if you want, you may want to turn the sound down because this does get quite loud, especially if you're wearing headphones. So... Okay, that's all we get. So we're at 50,000 income right now. I don't think there's much point in me trying to build anything at Minas Morgul or... Well, maybe Kirith Ungol, but not Minas Morgul because we're going to be leaving that to push on towards Mount Doom. So let's use the 50,000 back in our home territories. Let's go through each of the locations. Anything we need to build is everything got something under construction. I think they have. Ooh, Bridge of Tharbad. Let's cancel that and build that instead. Pretty sure everything should have something being constructed. Oh, uh, one thing you guys advised or asked about is maybe me speaking to Bree and getting Kelonianak for one of my other locations. So that might be something we can look into. So... I'm thinking, well, it depends if we still have it, but either we could have, we could give them Minas Morgul or we could give them Kirith Ungol. But this would have to be after we move the armies out because I don't want to put my armies out in the field during the turn flip and then, you know, have Mordor attack me and all that stuff. It'd be very inconvenient. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had that full stack. Forty-two thousand in the treasury. We haven't seen that sum, that kind of money in... Actually, have we ever seen that kind of money in this campaign? <laughs> Don't remember. Go on, Gondor. Nicely done. We've got two Mordor full stacks out there. As long as they head north, it doesn't matter. So, Isengard are still down to their one province left. Aradir and Elfian. That's quite a cool, that's quite a nice name, Elfian. Elfian, Elfian. How do you. Yeah. Minas Mogul liberated Gondorian splendor. Ooh. Since the line of kings ended, the stewards took reign of Gondor's leadership, and this once glorious nation began to decline, losing territories and citadels to the enemy. 
However, the power of Numenor has shone through the men of Gondor as they reclaim what was once lost and expand their borders further than they have been since the days of the steward Sirion. The Land of Stone shakes as its vast armies march to and fro, protecting Gondor's people and claiming more land. The kingdom rejoices as the Gondorian heartland of old is reunited under the banner of the stewards. Perhaps this is a herald of a new Gondorian golden age. Not read that for a while, or before actually. Gondor is normally having problems with like Ethelion and Kerandros. <clears throat> Okay, and Numenes. Uh, build a great market. We have plenty of money. I'm going to use any and all of it if it is necessary. South Tharbad, you can upgrade. Shall I build the other bridge of Tharbad? Like, because I think <laughs> I think it's a case of one half build one side builds one half of the bridge, the other side builds the other. Um, or shall I upgrade this? Uh, we'll build the bridge and then we'll upgrade the city afterwards. So Minas Morgul, oh we look, we can build Steel Bowman straight away. 16 turns until the first unit, but... Oh wow, we can retrain everything. Again, it's not like putting the units back up to full strength, it's more of a upgrade, upgrade, but... Yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. Okay. So what we'll do... We'll lay siege to Estelad. Oh, we can't. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. <coughs> we'll bring Adafor out here. So why have we not? Your orders, my lord. Oh, I wasn't even right there. Honor. Hey, you can recruit some Rohan riders as mercenaries. That's quite cool. Is there? Oh, biography. No. Someone mentioned a while ago there it might list something about his missions in his um, select in his like traits and retinue, that sort of thing. But I'm not... Let's go through the traits here. Uh, legendary commander? No. Great speaker? No. Uh, cruelly exacting taxman. Oh, yeah. We like our money. <laughs> Hmm. Just wondered if maybe... I think it's probably because we just weren't standing next to it. We were standing next to Edoras. Apparently. Yes, my lord. Orders. My lord. Your orders, my lord. Making camp here. Yes. So the invasion armies are still hanging around up north. I'm not going to complain. Yes. Your orders, my lord. Feel that? Oh no, I was actually going to use one of the um, one of these guys. Fill up the last available slot. Oh, one more turn for the town to upgrade. Oh, let's see. Uh, oh, I forgot about my diplomat. So I was getting too fixated on you know being in Mordor's territory and being like probably one turn away from getting to the to Mount Doom, but kind of forgot to move my diplomat a little bit there. Oh well.
I see. The Witch King of Angmar. What's your bodyguard? Black Numenorian still. Okay, that's fine. And you have some great beasts in your army as well. 229. Okay. Okay. So according to the campaign map, the enemy should be appearing on our left. Interesting. Interesting. Well then, looks like we're going to be battling at Estelad after all. I was just going to siege it just to block them off so I could get uh, out of 4 up to Mount Doom, but there we go. Um, but I'm going to have to fight this battle at the start of the next episode, guys, unfortunately, because I do not have enough time. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all in the next one.